No, we need to finish with this. Okay, I think. <laughs> oh, everything you get? We're going to get this started. Okay. You guys all ready? Yes, get everybody in Brantley here. Yes, sir. Okay guys, as you all know we've had an event, as information comes in we will be bringing it forward to the group. Um, please make sure that all press designates one person to speak with the incident PIO. Our incident PIO today will be Edward Apodaca. Um, SoCal Team 1 will be taking the event and uh, I will be your incident commander for the event. Jim Lamont will be your safety. Robert Clark will be operations. Uh, Greg Miner will be the med unit leader and logistics. And any questions that you have as far as the incident is concerned. Please uh, process those through our PIO, and that will be Edward Apodaca. He has a quick briefing update uh, with the information that we have so far. Go ahead, Eddie. Okay, basically, the concept of this exercise is to get people ready for when we do have an actual earthquake. It's an opportunity to learn what to do before, during, and after an actual earthquake. Today our scenario was we did experience a 7.8 earthquake and what we would do during and after that if the roads were to close. See, so today we lost uh, Highway 243 at Mountain Center, so we didn't have access that way and we lost Highway 243 at Deadman's Curve, so we don't have access to Pine Cove. Also what we did was utilize the, um, our CERT. Uh, CERT is a community emergency response team. And what they are is they're all, it's, it's all volunteers. They've all been trained on basic first aid, um, basic search and rescue, and they are a, uh, a team that we can call, a response team that we can call, if there were an, ever an emergency that could possibly uh, overwhelm the fire department or anybody else for that matter. They could be called, they, they help triage patients, they help transport patients, um, they help rescue and find patients. We utilized IFPD, United States Forest Service, um, RSO, Edison, Red Cross, the people that we would actually be utilizing if this were an actual case. So um, it gives us all an opportunity to get together and um, work together. Edison has been notified and finally the gas companies have all been notified. IFPD management is coordinated coordinating the incident and mitigating the fire and EMS threat as it evolves throughout the community. DOS units are opened and functional. CERT teams have been assigned to perform reconnaissance and light search and rescue along with hazard identifications and light mitigation efforts. TLMA is surveying damage to roads and other access points. CMP is treating those critically and minor injuries. And Riverside Sheriff is having difficulty getting access into the area due to the road damage. I'll give you uh, further updates later. DOS stands for Disaster Aid Station. And what those were were basically small stations where we could take patients um, to and from, depending on how critically injured they were, where we could do a lot of triaging there, a lot of communications are going in. Basically a uh, point where we could meet. So what are you expecting? Yeah, yeah. Little girl first, or do you have others? No, my first. Okay, I just want to kind of talk to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Make yeah, the connection yeah. here. Thirty-two. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. No Diabetes. Diabetes. Got it. We've got all the information. They've been the victim. Then I'm asking around with my third people if anybody knows how to get. Uh, today, I know we had at least one fatality and one um, broken leg that I know of. I know we, we uh, had a scenario where houses were burning down and collapsing and um, what they call walking wounded. Um, but just when the scenario is over, we'll all probably regroup back here at the station and we'll do what they call like a debriefing or a round robin and 
we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll, say, we'll talk to each other about what went right, what went wrong, what we could do next time better, um, what worked this time. We picked up a lot of gas recommendations today, and that's what this is all about, although it was primarily for medical and communication. So I want to thank everybody very, very much, and I want to thank Mark. And we should do this at least once a year. Twice a year. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Mark. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's just appreciate the opportunity.